Okay, so we've got Ryan here from MCR Gas, and uh, just want Ryan to share a bit of his experience with us since working with Rebuild Trade. So, Ryan, if you could just uh, introduce yourself, introduce MCR Gas, and, and let us know a bit about the business, if you can. Hi, guys. So, I'm Ryan, director of Manchester Gas. So, we've just done our first 12 months in business. Uh, Commercial domestic gas engineers, servicing boilers, installing boilers, commercial and domestic. Uh, I was at British Gas this time last year, looking to go on my own. Didn't really have the confidence of what, what I wanted to do. Uh, had a couple of conversations with Dan at Rebuild, uh, Rebuild Assets. Kind of filled me with confidence. Like, well, I spoke to Dan now. He's told me I'm going to be a millionaire this time next year. <laughs> Uh, gone through all these processes and the first thing we did is set up a website uh, I did already have a website up and running and I thought it was a bee's knees to be fair I thought my mate's done me a massive favour I had one chat with Dan nothing was linked in no social media links no, no Google links no keywords everything was just dead on it it was just a page with a load of writing on and a couple of nice pictures Got set up with a new website off Dan, pretty much seeing 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 seen the impact straight away with leads coming through the website, which in the previous twelve months we'd had the website set up and running. We've not had one lead through a website. Pretty much instantly was getting work coming in through the website. So that's when we looked at doing the paid ads with Dan. And we've never looked back. So in the twelve months, like from a new business to where we are now, it's it's way more than I thought we could be in. Obviously, we won't be in this position without the help of rebuild assets over the last 12 months. Excellent. Well, that's obviously yeah, good I'm, for me to hear. Um, mate, like I said, I, I told you when we first started, like, it's been unbelievable. Like, it's just the way it's just gone. The social media presence, which I'd never used social media personally before. You talk me into getting a, person, a business account on Facebook and Instagram. And from there, mate, like Facebook has just been a game changer for us as well. It's just been unbelievable. Obviously, you set everything up for us. Got the business account up and running. Paid ads and so on Facebook. Absolute no-brainer. So, yeah, it's uh, we're going in the right direction, mate. Excellent. So, 12 months ago, still working at British Gas. Um, wanted to go off on your own, big goals, big vision. I remember that first conversation that we had. And uh, at the time, there was no Facebook presence. Um, none of that was set up. So when you realised that you wanted to take your marketing to the next level, there's obviously a lot of companies out there at the moment who are promising that they can do this and do that. So what was it that made you decide to come with us at We Build Assets, We Build Trade, um, than anyone else? Uh, you're, you you could back it up, basically. You, so we had I had the conversation with quite a few different people, people close to me, uh, people that have been recommended to me, and no one had the figures. So people, you go in, people talk a good game, you think, blimey, that's brilliant, like, really good for the business. Mm. But no one had a, any hard evidence to back it up. The first conversation we had with you, look at what we do. This is the company we've worked for the last six months. This is where they were. This is where they are now. This is their figures that are turning over from paid ads, from the social media presence, from their Facebook presence, from even from the, the website. You, you tracked everything and you're able to show that to me, which thinks, well, it's not really much of a gamble because if it's worked for a company in, in London or a company in Newcastle, why would it not work for a company in Manchester? That was basically my confidence in you that you've got the evidence to back back what you're saying up. To be fair, no one had that hard evidence. Everyone could talk a good game and do a good sales pitch, but without that hard evidence, you're still optimistic. You're thinking, "Blimey, it's a hell of a lot of money to be take to be paying out for someone that you, you don't know, mm. and they've not got any evidence to say this is what we've done previously. This is the companies we've worked with." Here's a number, like no one would pass out a number and say, here, go, go and get a review off this guy. This is who we've been working with. I think the first WhatsApp message you sent me was like, here's a couple of numbers that we've been working with. Have a chat with them. 
any questions, ask them, and then get back to them and see what you think. Mm. No one else would really have that much confidence in themselves to do that. And that that's based that that is the main that is the only reason I went with you. I, I took a gamble, never looked back. I know I'm one of them people you send figures over to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, well, this is what we do in this interview, mate. So you uh, yeah. send the video instead of getting everyone calling you. Yeah, no, it's been, it's been great, mate. And like I said, it's it's just the fact that you had the hard evidence to back up what you were saying. Yeah. Mm, literally, the other companies that we spoke to, like even personal friends, they talked a great game, but without that hard evidence, and no one else specialised in trades. It was other biz. Like, do, do you know what I mean? Like. It's trade specific what you're doing. It's you've got the marketing down to a T for the trades. Other people are looking after big businesses that have nothing to do with trades. They don't really understand how the trades work. If if that makes sense, it's it's a completely different ball game from me being a plumber to looking after someone with an IT company. It, it's a completely different game, uh, and that's where you've got that niche. And it's just. Yeah, it's it's got it's gone unbelievable, mate. Excellent. I think um, it's good to hear that obviously you seen the numbers that we produce from other clients um, gave you that confidence to move forward. Because um, obviously we know over the last twelve months you've saw some incredible results within the business. It's just gone from strength to strength. Um, and like you said, working specifically with trades is, is not just helped you in like, with the marketing that we're doing, but it's helped us understand, okay, if this is working for a client in Manchester or Newcastle or Glasgow or Cardiff, yeah. why can't it work for a company in Birmingham? Um, so, yeah, I'm glad that that's had a, a, a big impact. So, at the time, right, when you first spoke to us, um, how many leads were you getting at the time? Do you remember like, And where Zero. were they coming from? No leads. Zero. So ba- basically, all it was is word of mouth. To be fair, families and friends say, "Oh, my grandma's boiler's run down, so I'd go out fix my grandma's boiler." Then someone had seen me on the street. Maybe oh, we our boiler's down, and my grandma had passed my phone number on. Friends have been growing up with it. They'd say, "Oh, could you just come and look at this for us?" And to be fair, mate, I was doing the sort of stuff that I didn't want to be doing just to try and get a bit of money to try and get a bit of a name for myself and it it, it, it was going well uh, but it was very slow and it wouldn't have been able it wouldn't have been enough for me to leave British Gas okay. I was slowly 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 building it uh, and I think the, the the biggest step for me was obviously when you said to get Facebook you set all my Facebook up for me, my business account, and then the leads through Facebook recommendations from these people. Obviously, it's, people are asking for plumbers, and then it's my friends, my family are recommending me. From that point, and then the word of mouth went crazy. Mm. Uh, so that was a bit of a confidence boost that I'm doing a good job. People are happy with what I'm doing. Obviously, my name's all over Facebook. People and p- people that aren't even looking for plumbers have seen my face all over the place, my name all over the place, my business name, mm. and they're remembering it for when they do actually need one. Uh, but, yeah, as of before that, literally no leads coming in. It was just literally word of mouth through family and friends. I think a lot of people are in that same position, especially working with British Gas, a big company. You want to leave, obviously you've only got that word of mouth. So I think what you did quite early was you realised the importance of having a system, having yeah. a system to generate fresh leads, a predictable system. Um, because if you're just relying on word of mouth, you're never going to be able to, to scale. So one thing that we did was we set up this predictable system for you. And what, what do you feel has made the biggest difference, Roy, since we started working together out of all the things that we've worked on? What do you feel was like one of the things that the team put in place that made a difference for you? Uh, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I've said the website was great, the Facebook were great, the campaign campaigns were great. I've said once you get into these houses, there it's then word of mouth grows from that anyway. Uh, but I think obviously me being a new business, being part of this plumbing gang, the WhatsApp group, the, the contact you had, I feel like I've 
over the last 12 months, I've been pretty lucky. I've not made that many mistakes. Mm. And that's all down to being able to talk to people that have been there, been, done that, had the experience, and um, obviously yourself talking to other people for a bit of advice. The guys in the plumbing group, it, it's just been easy to basically avoid the mistakes. Mm. Uh, you could you could go the WhatsApp group, ask a question that you might think is stupid, but you'll get an, you'll get a decent a- explanation of why not to do it and the best route to go instead of say, making that mistake for yourself. Mm. So I think that is a lot to do with the success we've had having that back backup of the other plumbers that are in the group, the businesses that have been striving for a couple of years, the people that you've been working with for a number of years. I think it's been a massive part to how well we've done this year. So not just like the marketing side of things. Not just, no, like obviously that that's been great. It's been that was proven. Mm. We already come in knowing that was going to work for us. But I've never been involved in business before. I've always just gone to work and got a wage. Mm. I never thought of how to run a business. It's just not something that ever crossed my mind. But you're trying to take it by the stride and then you, you, you're doing what you're doing, you're doing well, and then you can get a, you can get carried away with yourself and think, right, I know it all now. And then you soon get brought back down to earth. And it's having people in the group that's very experienced at companies and national brands and stuff and having them to fall back on for a bit of advice, it's been valuable for me, mate. It's absolutely been amazing. Well, that helped uh, you. Um, I remember the finance, getting that set up and everything. 100%. Even the software we've come down to, mate, it's, mm-hmm. it's been able to talk on that platform with guys that have been there, done it. It's just invaluable, mate. And like anyone that's setting up a business, it's, it's a scary time for anyone, mate. And I think if you've got people that you could talk to openly and freely and they're willing to give you advice... It's, it's been huge for me for the systems to get put in place and even like the finance that's been a game changer mate like national brands British Gas Homes uh, they're all doing finance but the prices are extortionate mm. so it's pointless having pointless having the finance because no one's willing to pay that much but no one independent was offering finance in, around my area no one the guy first thing you need to do is set up finance and the sales we've seen through the finance sales, it's been unbelievable, mate. Even for the repairs of the bathrooms, it's gone absolutely, yeah, it's been, it's been great. So little things like that, just tweaks and to the business, the business model, the way things you want to go, the direction. Like the guys that are doing the care plans, have got 700 odd care plans, it's thought, well, that's the way I want to go. Mm-hmm. Like from top to someone on this plumbing group, it's sustainable. He's built his business model around having care plans, that's what I want to do. It's not something I've ever thought about, but speaking to people that have been there, done it, worn the T-shirt, it's, it gives you a bit of an incentive to do what they're doing. See what they're doing well, they'll, they'll, they're happy to share the, the falls, the, the mistakes they've made. And we're in competition, mate, to obviously kick 2021 off to a belting start, to be fair. Excellent. So like you'll know that we'll try and only work with one company in each area so we can really dedicate ourselves to that company. And uh, obviously being in this WhatsApp group, it's not learning from your own experience, yeah. it's learning from other people's. They're willing to share their ideas with you because you're not direct competition. Which yeah, there's no conflicts of interest, yeah, 100%, mate. No. And then yeah. at the same time, it gives you that motivation to see that, okay, I'm a new business, but I've got this yeah. and figure eight-figure company in the group who've got yeah. 10 vans on the road. How can I yeah. learn from them and implement it in my own business? Yeah, 100%. Now, I've, I've, I've had a brilliant 12 months, but this isn't it for me. This is not where I want to be. Talking to other people in the group, like, they're what I'm striving to get to. And also with your help, with their help, with the team's help, and my dedication, hard work, this is where we're going to get to, mate, and I have no doubt about it. Absolutely no qualms about it. We're going to get there. Well, I actually want to congratulate you, Ryan, for being there because I like I always say that you can have all the marketing in the world, you can have the best environment in the world, but if you're not willing to put in the work yourself and yeah. go through this hard journey, then nothing's going to work for you. 
and uh, obviously over the last 12 months um, yes we've been a, an asset to you hopefully we've, we've worked well with you but um, you've literally went from working at British Gas setting up a business doing an incredible amount of revenue in your first year and just talk to me a bit about what happened last month with uh, yeah. so, an award or something yeah so the town where I'm from Berry, they have like a local local skiing so it's best of berry so it runs off recommendations so anyone in the berry area that's looking for a plumber or a different trade or even a professional service there's a, there's a thing called the best of berry so basically it's recommended it's trusted people that are trading and it runs off recommendations to be fair so the facebook presence like literally facebook in berry i've cleared it like Anyone recommends a plumber, it's Manchester Gas, hundreds of nominations. Uh, so I'll best of very reached out to me, asked me if I wanted to be part of their recognised trades people. Uh, so yeah, we agreed, so we started working with them back in February. Uh, and each year they, they have an awards ceremony for the businesses of Berry and people, not just best of Berry people, but all businesses across the Berry area. Uh, you have to be nominated to be part of the awards and then obviously you've got to do a written written piece to say why you think you should be be able to receive this award mm. and we got nominated for the last three and I spoke to yourself about oh, that's an amazing achievement like Berries, it's quite a big town uh, and it's just been nominated for the final three of the best business in Berry. Mm. Uh, was quite an achievement for where we've come from in the space of not even 12 months at the time and yeah I was quite happy with just the nomination to be fair and then to be nominated to the lap to be to one in the final three against national businesses also people that have got businesses in Berry but the national brands doing multi-million pound contracts and stuff and I was I was never for one minute thought I was going to win it uh, from when we first died to when I first got nominated and then yeah last month we got named winners of the best business in Berry so to start up from nothing and build a business in 12 months so it's basically take into account like your recommendations what you've done for the community over the last 12 months any charities you helped so your turnover your profit uh, yeah so it's to be competing with against businesses that from Berry that have been been established for years and years and national businesses as well to actually win that award was like mind blowing, like proper like how many away. people entered was it? So I think fifty four people got shortlisted. Right. Uh, well fifty four businesses got shortlisted and then to get nominated, get shortlisted, like Coming sec coming second is never never good, but even to get nominated, I thought well, it was quite an achievement to get recognised at this point. Mm. But then to actually win it, I thought, blimey, like you actually take a step back and think, yeah, this last twelve months has been you, you know you've done well, but then when you get recognised for something, for all the hard work you, you've done, your team's done, and it, even like just the bits in the community that you've done, it's it's rewarding. You don't do it for that, but when you take a step back. I think, blimey, yeah, it's quite an achievement what we've, what we've managed to achieve in the last 12 mm. months. But it's not all down to me, it's we build assets, it's the team I've got, got behind me. And yeah, it's, it's growing and growing. So next year, I'm going for businessman of the year, best business of the year. We're taking on all the trophies next year, mate. That's what I like to hear, mate. And yeah. so that leads me on to the, the next thing, which is what is the future? I mean, over the last 12 months, it's been an incredible journey. You've set some mm -hmm. strong foundations yeah. uh, for the business. You've won an award, which is, out of, I think, what, 54 people you said got nominated to have won that award. 54 people got shortlisted. Oh, short. So how many people was it out no, of? No idea, mate. No idea. I don't know how many people got nominated, but 54 companies got shortlisted. Wow. Well. And then it went down to a written application and we made it from to the final three off a written application. Okay. So yeah, it's uh 
quite 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 moment for us to be fair, mate. Right? Twelve it. months from British Gas to get into that level because like, yeah. we've achieved a revenue goal within the business, but to get outside recognition, yeah, makes them foundation stronger. So just tell me, Roy, like, what are the next steps? What's the future for the business? How do you see um, the next twelve months looking like? What's our relationship going to be like over the next twelve months? Just let everyone know. So. I've sold a percentage of Manchester Gas to a business partner. Mm. Uh, it was getting way too big for me to manage on my own. So we were on a commercial side, a domestic side, a care plan side. For me to try and manage that on my own, it was getting to the point where I couldn't cope anymore. And for me to grow the business, I needed that little bit of support, a little bit of backing. Uh, and yeah, so... I've got a new business partner that's going to start in January 2021. And the main game is to really, commercial side, we've got to really tight the commercial side. Uh, the, bigger, the bigger contracts, the bigger jobs, we're really going to try and push that this year. Bigger revenue, bigger outlay, but bigger profits. Mm-hmm. Uh, care plans, we're looking to really target care plans this year. So come January, we're setting a Brand new system with elves. Uh, it's put up with the real target down first of the month to get, try and get as many contract customers to be sustainable. Uh, sort of be, it, it's just guaranteed income, sustainable for the business, self self sufficient. Uh, oh yeah, so we're going to be running campaigns with sales for that. Obviously, the boiler care plans, the boiler installs. We're not going to stop the installs. Uh, so we'll be running campaigns with rebuild assets through the, through the installs again. Hope to see the same results that we have from last year from them. Mm. And yeah, going forward, mate, it's bigger, better work for an office premises this year. Storage facilities and even maybe a showroom for the bathrooms. Brilliant. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're going big, mate. It's good to see the transition of like you working so hard in your business because, like you said, I mean, how many boilers has MCR gas done in the last? Well, we just sat down on a call before this, and we've gone through the last four four months campaign on Facebook, and we worked out we've done seventy boilers in four months just through a Facebook campaign. Never mind Google or word of mouth. Mm. So, mate, yeah, I think we're on three hundred and eighty for the year installs, and. The conversation we had before this, before I started, I was leaving British Gas, and I thought the conversation we had for me to leave British Gas, I need at least one boiler a week. Like we smash that times five. Mm. So it's uh, it's not it's not been not bad, a bad mate. year, mate. Not a bad no. year. No, like I said, like you kind of give me the confidence I needed to leave British Gas last year. I was wondering an hour would it work? Wouldn't it work? Do I take the gamble? Do I risk my family's future? Do I leave British Gas on mega money, not doing a great deal of work? Mm. But that just wasn't me, mate. I couldn't sit there and take away from not doing anything. I wanted to do something that would make me proud, make my family proud. And just give me a bit of freedom, to be fair. But, it's, yeah, it's definitely a choice of... I can't even believe I was thinking twice about it this time last year. Yeah. Well, mate, it's good to know that I've been part of this because it's been incredible to see what you've done over the past 12 months. And just to, to wrap up, I mean, if there's someone now who was watching this, who was in your position last year, uh, where you're sceptical, there's a lot of other companies out there who you can choose from, everyone's promising you the world, what would your advice be to that person who's maybe saw one of our Facebook ads They've watched one of our videos and they're in a position now where they're deciding whether or not to come on board and work with us or, or not to. Look at the figures. Numbers don't lie, mate. Numbers don't lie. If you're looking at going with someone else, ask them for the figures. If they can't show you the figures, they're not doing something right, are they? Hundred percent like look at the evidence that's there. Like I was skeptical about handing over the money to someone that I'd never met before. I had a couple of conversations with you and I knew we'd get on like a house on fire. And that is a massive part of working with someone. You need to know that you've got to get on. Mm, a few conversations, 
yeah, I knew that we'd get on well together. I knew we could work well together. The numbers are there. The evidence is there. The, it's, it's just no brainer. Uh, and obviously, if I was to recommend anyone to leave a paid job to go self-employed, it would be to join somewhere that's got that background support as well. I don't know how many people you've got in your contact list now, but it's like that WhatsApp group. There's 40 odd people on there that are running businesses. Everyone's there to help you. So, as well as someone's marketing could be, I don't think they'd have the same sort of info that you would have. So, that's that for me was a biggest game changer. That backup of experience, knowledge. It even just it was nothing to do with business it was a breakdown you've got that whatsapp group there you've got the contacts there people can help you and that to someone starting off new is absolutely invaluable how have you found the, the Trello system as well for like managing things on your side brilliant so easy to navigate as well like, you know i'm not the best with technology like I'm useless at anything to do with computer but I can get Trello on an iPad I can do it on my phone I can send you anything over and so you get notifications and you dispute what you're doing with I can get notifications that I can make amendments to what I want dead easy to use dead simple efficient really efficient as well so it's it's for me yeah it's, it's it's been that's been a game changer anything i've won i know i can sit there at four o'clock in the morning send you a request over and by dinner time that day it's, it's been dealt with any amendments to the website any amendments for facebook any posts i want to put in out it's done and dusted and i don't have to worry about ringing you speaking to you i could do it at night when i'm set up in the middle of the night thinking about what i need to do so yeah Excellent. Well, I mean, lastly, Roy, just to, to finish off, um, first of all, thank you for, for doing this and, and giving everyone your experience when working with us. Um, the final question is, would you recommend We Build Assets, which is soon going to be We Build Trades, would you recommend We Build Trades to work with? 100%, mate. It's an absolute no-brainer for anyone who wants to do well. If you want to grow your business, it's a way forward if you're happy staying still probably not for you but if you want to grow your business expand and obviously increase profit and margins it's an absolute no-brainer 100 percent. excellent well Roy it's been a pleasure working with you I'm really looking forward to what the next year is going to hold obviously from the conversations that we've had so uh, yeah I appreciate your time on this interview and uh, yeah let's smash next year boom it's a big year mate Go hard. Big year.